Now the key to supersetting is start off from the big exercise first and then move on straight after to that smaller exercise. Both, in this case, work in the tricep. This close grip chest press is really working the outer head of this tricep. This is great for giving us that horseshoe-like effect and helping to add a little bit more size. So you still want to go as heavy as you can. Supersets aren't just about volume. We want to overload the muscle with as much weight, but then keep that intensity, that training threshold high as we move on to the next one. And this next one is right here with a overhand tricep pushdown. So let's get to it. Again, the focal point with the tricep pushdown is to really squeeze that tricep head at the end of the movement. So although you're moving from one machine to the next, supersetting both exercises, your tempo and your form still need to be the same as though you were doing them in the standard pyramid sets, increasing the weight and dropping the repetitions. With superset, I'd recommend aiming for in the region of 12 to 15 repetitions, but keeping that intensity, that squeeze in the muscle, as tight as you can on every rep. That way you're really beginning to overload that muscle with that intensity without having to do the added pyramid of the weights. Next up, biceps. And for this, we're gonna move back on to our close grip, but this time underhand and utilize this short bar as a bicep curl. Well, what I love about doing arm curls on the lever arm is that unlike the usual weight where you tend to get a sticking point, you've got this dead weight that you're lifting up, the further away from that fulcrum, the pivoting point, which is the elbow, the harder it becomes and then it becomes much easier as you put it back in towards your body. With a lever, it's kind of somewhat like a cable in the sense that it keeps that resistance at a constant throughout the full range of motion. So with this one, we get perfect form, providing we keep the elbows tucked in and can again squeeze on the bicep on every portion of that range of motion up and then lower back down. Next up, we'll move on to the arm curl and for this, I need to grab the attachment, lock this in and put some weight on. Now this is one of the main benefits of the lever system is that you can very quickly and effectively move from the lever arm which acts much like a compound exercise with a big free weight to an isolated exercise here and utilizing your tempo to increase that contraction of the muscle as quickly as you can still with good form and technique and controlling the weight up you're not quite literally throwing the weight up this way you begin to recruit those type 2B fibers which come into play at the end of that work set. So that way we're maximizing their involvement going from one exercise, that compound like movement, over to an isolation exercise as really the same type of work set. Okay, that's all I have time for today. Join me next time and I'll be using more of PowerTech's workbenches and multi-systems to show you how to double up on the results and cut your training time in half. See you then.